I'm Jonas. I am the founder of We Are The New Farmers, and um, we are aspiring to be the next generation urban farm that uses less resources in growing uh, crops and to be more efficient and to be more sustainable. I'm a recent grad from NYU, and uh, over the course of the last two years, we iterated and developed different prototypes to make vertical farming more profitable. We're now at the stage where we want to bring this to market and want to commercialize our ideas and um, we try to find our business models and obviously if you want to build a farm you also need a lot of money to actually build a, build a vertical farm. Everyone who's familiar with vertical farming knows it's a very cost intensive and capital intensive uh, project and um, so we have to look into all kinds of different investment vehicles. Apart from classical um, um, equity investment, we're looking into grant money uh, to leverage the outside funding that comes into the company. And I want to discuss a little bit the problems that we were facing when we we're looking into the different grants. And um, I hope it helps a bit, like fostering a discussion around that. And I want to talk about three main problems that we were facing. And the, the first problem was um, the right fit. Um, if you start researching your, the grants that are out there, you realize that there's a plethora of, d of different grants from uh, the state, from the USDA, from uh, all kinds of institutions that want to help grow. Um, but the problem is that they really, really fit uh, urban farming or um, particularly vertical farming. Uh, if you want to apply for USDA grants, they expect you either to have revenue or to have a lot of experience in terms of farming, and that's not something that we have. If you want to apply for econ economic development grants, you need to show that you will uh, have a lot of employees at some point, which is not something that we really plan to because that's a lot of costs that we really want to avoid in our uh, kind of operation. So that's not really a good fit here. Um, the second big issue that we have is the size. Um, so there are two types of grants out there. The micro grants, which are somewhere around max 10K that you can get. And um, I don't want to go into how many grants I would need of that kind to actually finance a vertical farm. Um, and the other kind of grant uh, starts at a minimum of 150K and goes all the way up to maybe a million. Um, and that's just too much for us to start with because uh, with any kind of grant, there's a lot of um, bureaucracy behind that and we need to dedicate a lot of, money, uh, a lot of time to actually um, work with those kinds of grants. So what we really need is something in between that's a lot more flexible, somewhere around 50K to 100K. And the third thing um, is the timing, the right time. Um, if I look into applying for a grant right now, there are a couple of grants out there um, that have one time uh, uh, evaluation time or I have one deadline I can apply to. And if I'm unlucky and I'm trying to build my farm right now, but the application deadline is in February, I have to wait till February until I can submit my application. <laughs> then they have usually an eva evaluation time of three to four months until we get some kind of feedback and then we get a decision. And if we can actually accept it into the grant, then it can take another six months until we finally see the money in our bank account. If I need, if it's, if it's a good scenario, I can apply right away. I get my money in maybe 12 months. If it's a bad scenario, it can take up to, uh, can take up to two years until I receive money. Uh, time that I do not have as a startup, uh, I would run out of business in a very short time if I would solely rely on grant money. Um, I just want to put this out and see um, if anyone can help us navigate the jungle of grants that are out there. I know there are a lot of experts here in the audience. Um, and also, um, we're not only looking into grant money, obviously, to, fi uh, to finance our farm. So if anyone wants to discuss uh, grant financing, but also other kinds of investment vehicles.